scrappy friends. So I am going to try this again. I tried to use my camcorder to videotape this and for whatever reason it doesn't want to upload onto my computer. So I have been on um, I think it's Victoria Marie's page where there's been a lot of chatter about people who want to do their own videos and want to know what other people's setups are. So I thought today I would do a quick video, hopefully quick, <laughs> and show you guys some of the things that I use to um, make my videos and my setup. So this is my desk, <clears throat> completely different view from over top, right? <laughs> and um, I am near a window, so I'm not going to show you the whole window, but uh, just because it's kind of messy on there. <laughs> And you can see out my window. I'm sure my neighbors don't want you to see their house. So I have a light there that is not on right now, but it usually is on when I'm scrapping, no matter if it's day or night. I like the natural light from the window, and I've really found that being down here, I don't know what it is about the light down here, but it really has been showing the colors very well, and I am very happy with that. So... If at all you want to do videos, if there's a way that you can do it near a window and get that natural light, that is going to help you not need that many lamps. Now, I will say, I still use, I have this big lamp right here, um, and I also use the small one. And I like to use that in with my overhead light. It just the overhead fan light, um, I find that that helps balance out the light. But, I mean, as you can see, this is without the light, and it will, I can adjust the lighting so that it's not so dark. Um, and this is during the day. Of course, it's kind of cloudy right now. I give it a few more minutes, and it'll be not cloudy. So I have <laughs> um, that in the way. I have this clamp gooseneck system. So this is hooked onto my shelving unit or like just like a shelf. Okay. It's a basic, you know, like bathroom shelf. And I have tons of stuff. All my scrappy stuff is on here. I'm not going to go through right now and do a tour, but that's kind of the stuff. It's all my scrappy stuff. Uh, if you guys would like to see a scrappy tour, let me know, and I'll do a video maybe next week or so, and I can show you like all my scrappy stuff. Oh my goodness, my kids decided they were going to put their stuff on my layout, and this is why you shouldn't have your layout where your kids can just stick their stuff. So I do have... Those are all layouts that need to get put into albums. <laughs> um, so, anyway, this clamp is hooked onto here. I like that this shelf is very sturdy because you need something sturdy because if you move this, see, you, it's going to move the, clamp, the, the base. Okay, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> my kids they know when I'm videotaping and they want to come up and down the stairs so this clamp I find that this has to be tightened on a regular basis just because of the way of me putting my iPad on here now obviously I'm using my iPad to tape so I can't even show you what it looks like with it on there but this is just um, a basic gooseneck like bedside stand type of thing I got it off of Amazon it was about $35. Um, it may be a little bit more or less, depending on what video, like what you use. So I find that this here also has to be readjusted, but it can move a little bit. It depends how tight you have it. I like to have it tight because I don't want it moving while I'm taping. So see, this is the view that you somewhat see, right? Um, I find that you can see this in my videos a smidge and I'm trying to work on that because I so um, I don't want this moving around right I mean 
the more it moves, the more it's going to have to be fixed. But so the iPad fits in here and this part moves back and forth so you can get it in and out. And it just, like I said, just from getting, getting it in and out, it does need to be tightened, but it's not too bad. So I just kind of regularly check it, make sure it's tight, make sure when I put everything in, I turn it on and make sure everything looks where I need it to look. And um, the thing with the iPad is you can't make it bigger or smaller, so I can't zoom in. And um, this is where I have it now is very hard to adjust it so that it's over top directly without it being funky. So that's why I've had a hard time getting it so that you can't see this part. I'm not really sure exactly what I need to do to fix that. I don't know. Maybe I need to move it this way and then have it. Uh, I don't know. It's just difficult because I have to take it off. And it is possible. But the nice thing about the goosenecks is that you can adjust it. And I know they have I, like phone ones, right, that are just a clip. And it's small. So you could like even hook it probably on here and have it hook over top and it be a lot easier. But this has to have something flat on the bottom or it doesn't sit right. And then it, like I had it upstairs on my bed post and that wasn't completely flat and it was really weird. So this is my setup. Um, I like it for the most part. I mean, I have tons of space. I mean, as you, as you can see, there's not really anything impeding my space except for that right there. So I'm generally not worried about hitting anything uh, I will say my head gets in the way a little bit more where it is now because it's a little bit higher. That's the nice thing about it being lower. Your head's not going to get in the camera. And I mean, who? you're not wanting to see my head, right? <laughs> but uh, I have a nice, decent sized desk. This is actually a table that was in our family. So, and then this is my computer. Now, as you can see, I do have a regular camcorder. It's not amazing. It's old now. <laughs> I just haven't figured out a way to get that to work without going and buying another tripod. And as in today, I couldn't get it to show up on my laptop <laughs> that I had a... Uh, you know, that device hooked into. So, because it has a little thingy in there to hook it up. So, I don't know if it just was not working correctly. So, this is the rest of my space. I'm just showing it to you real quick. Um, and this has all papers and stickers and stamps. And then all my other doodad stuff is all in here. So, yes, that is a palm tree out there. Sort of. It's a weird looking palm tree. But that's all my doodads and my pens and scissors and stuff. And I try to keep everything equally, you know, decent and clean because it is downstairs. So I thought real quick I would show you just a little bit of what I use to edit. I'm not going to go through and show the whole editing process today. If that is something you are, like, so interested in in. Let me know and I will work, you know, I'll do a video where I just go through and show you how I edit um, a video. So here is a layout that I'm going to be posting. It has to upload, I believe. Where is it? Here it is. It's just going to take some time. And this is a little fuzzy. Oh, it's not responding. Go figure. Espo, what are you doing? That's my dog. He's being really quiet. He's like a kid. I don't know if you want to see him. Espo, come here. Espo. I mean, what craft, crafty scrapbooky video is it if you don't have a little sad face like Espo? Anyway. <laughs> He's a cute duck. He just gets into trouble. Okay, so here it is. This is Movie Maker. This is what I use. I do not use iMovie on my video on my iPad because I don't care for iMovie right now. Um, and maybe they'll switch it and change it in the future and it'll be a lot easier on the iPad. I just find that there's not enough options for me 
to do to edit to make my videos look professional. So um, here is just like how you want your video to start. Uh, I mean, I already have a video, like everything set up. I like to use this one, obviously, that's the one that I use, but you can have it start any other way that you want. And so then they put here, and these are all my close up videos. This right here is just a video that was like 40 minutes because it was for a challenge that to do a video or a layout in a half an hour. So it ended up, the video clip was like 41 minutes with all the stuff in it. So, I mean, I don't use all these, so I just go in and they're easy to remove each like picture. If I was gonna remove this whole thing, once I, if I wanna edit, all I have to do is just hit play and it's gonna go through it. And I'm sorry this is bouncing around a little bit because I'm holding it. It's kind of hard to hold it. So this is what it looks like. And then you just, whoop, I want to go into video. I believe I already, yeah, I turned off the volume. And so here's me just getting started. Now, sometimes when I'm get, about to get started, I won't see. So here's that gooseneck. I've, tr like I said, I've tried to get it. It doesn't show up on my video like when I'm taping. So sometimes I will go through and say, oh, that, that entrance or that first part is really long. So I'll go through and I'll go, and I'll go, okay, like here. I'll hit split. That's just how you edit. And I'll go, I don't want that in there. You know, it's too, it's too much, right? So I make sure that it's highlighted. You can See right there, it's highlighted. Hopefully you can see it, right? And then I just go in and I remove it. And that's how I edit. Um, I probably, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that in there or not. I'm just showing you something that you can do. So, but if you say, oh no, I didn't wanna do that. You can do that and it just brings it right back. It will have it split. So if you wanna unsplit, you have to do it twice. Okay, so um, that's, it's super easy, I think, to do, I mean, and I think it's really, I find it really easy. And then when you want to go in, like, my music, I don't know if I went through and did all the music, but, like, if I want to do a voiceover, I just hit this, and I, I use this headset right here. It is called... Ear Force Z11. It's a gaming headset with a microphone. The thing that I like about it is that it has this control on the side that ha turn the mic on or turn it. So here it's on, there it's off. And then you can adjust the volume of the mic. If you just have it on the ear set, so if you have it off, you can just hear the, the audio coming from whatever. <clears throat> So, like, if I did my voiceover and I want to re-listen to it, which I usually listen to a section of it, I don't always listen to the whole thing. Um, but I'll listen to it and make sure it recorded, make sure it sounds, you know, not too loud, too, too soft, and I'll adjust it that way. But all you got to do is hit this and you just, you know, have the headphones on. Um, any probably headset that has a mic, on it would work and you can use the mic in your laptop or whatever device you're using. I find that in the laptop it because it's sitting on this table it just I don't like the sound that comes out. There's a lot of background noise. Now there is a way that you can go through and I know I'm sorry if I'm making you guys sick guys. <laughs> there that you can go through and fix the audio. So just real quick, control panel. See, I don't even, I have a hard time finding stuff. So this one says um, hardware and sound. And I have a sound section, but I also have this, the audio manager for the laptop here. And 
I play around with the microphone. So like here it has the noise suppression and this other echo cancellation. I think it has to do with whether the speakers are on or not when it's on, but you can um, fix the recording volume so you could record it louder if you know that you need it louder or softer and then you know all that kind of stuff so and I actually think I don't know what that is but there's different ways that you can kind of play around with it so you can mute the microphone on here um, and have a better like so there's different ways that you can play around to get a better sound from your computer now this is a Microsoft so I don't know how Apple's work I will mention that Sandra and Lisa from YouTube <laughs> also have videos on how they have everything set up and they went through and showed you how they edit and um, how they kind of do their taping so they you can find those videos very easily on the pcamera.com that's their podcast website and I believe near the big like one of their first podcasts they talked about doing videos and so that's what whoops sorry guys <laughs> that's what they use to um to do they did those videos for so it should be pretty linked up to the beginning of that podcast that website or you can go on YouTube and go on their channel and look for it or you can go on YouTube and search um, oh snap gonzo's you know process video process or something like that and I'm sure you could probably find it fairly easy but anyway so those are other places that you can go and look to find out how other people do their process videos. I believe Mercy Tira sort of explained. How, so this is what it looks like from up top. So I really enjoy the way that I have mine. Um, it would be better if it was closer, like for like closer down. So um, I definitely would say if you're going to do a video, don't go and do. Whoop, you know, don't spend a lot of money until you know what you want and see what is going to be best for your space. If you have to tinker something to fit your space, like um, there's a lady on Victoria Marie's Facebook page who had a tripod and she used Legos. <laughs> so, um, and I thought that was really genius to put her phone on. So there are ways that you don't have to spend a ton of money, but you know, try it out and then if you like it start spending more money on stuff um depending what kind of video camera you have like i use the ipad mini but some people use their phone so you want to use something that is going to be easier for you to get the, the shot that you want do you want an overhead shot do you want a shot that's you know off to the side i find that overhead is the easiest way to see but sometimes the lighting or sometimes the way that your setup is, it's not going to be that easy to obtain that. So it might take a few of recordings for you to realize exactly how you want your setup to be and how it's going to work the best in your space. So um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you guys have any more requests for how to edit if you want to see me edit a video and see how I do my editing stuff let me know in the comments and I will try to do a better video of me editing also if you guys want to see like a scrapbook t room tour better than what I just showed you guys uh, let me know in the comments and I will try to do one like maybe next week or so I could probably um, fit it in during the day or something when the light's better to do a nice little tour and show you my space so it's not very big and I don't have much stuff but that's okay um I really enjoy my space so it's nice being out in the living room where my kids can play and I can hear them better than in my room so 
that's partly why I moved out. And I also moved out because my husband, he likes to play games during the day or at night, like when he's relaxing. And so it gives us a chance to kind of be in the same room together. And sometimes we can chat with each other and um, I'm not in a separate room than him. So it works well for us right now. We'll have to see eventually one day. It would be nice to have my own own room but for now this works really well so if there's any questions any requests for process video type more in-depth videos let me know and like I said I use this I got this on Amazon I know that there's other versions of something similar to it online for around the same price I think most of them are about $40 so, um, you know, just research to see which one is going to fit your device the best. And so, yeah, I think that is it for today for now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys have an inspired day and I will talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.